Okay, so today we are going to use a box or a bench or a chair or something stable enough. Um, there might be portions of what we do that you're wishing that you had a shorter bench, like when we step up on it. But then we're also going to be using it to sit down on, kind of like a one-legged, uh, like a, a pistol sit. So one leg will be up, and then, then you'll wish that you had a higher bench. So hopefully you find something that works for the height that you need. But if you need to adjust, let's say if the bench is too high for um, your hips or whatever is going on in your body to step up on, you can also just tap it with your leg or you can um, shift into a lunge. And then let's say that the bench is too low to sit down on. You can try like a single leg deadlift instead of a pistol sit. Um, and then we have a few arm things and some core stuff. And I'll give you options for switches as we go along. We're going to be on a timer. And we're going to kind of rush through our warm-up because I hope to get through four rounds today. We'll see how it goes. Um, but let's use our chair or bench or whatever as a little stretching agent, a warm-up agent. So put one foot up on your box. Let's say your right foot. And then just hinge forward and back. We'll go five on this side, five on the other. Hopefully you get some stretch through that back hip flexor. Square off your hips to that bench. Knee lines with the toe. Okay, and then step back and keep your leg extended straight. The toe is up. And then just hinge forward and back. Let's say five times here. So I have a couple weights to use for some of the some of the step ups and um, the pistol sits, etc. But you can also go body weight for everything today if that's better for you. So you decide, go super heavy, go super light. Okay, and then we'll switch and hit everything the same on the other side. Hinge forward and back. Wake up that core, keep the chest lifted up off your rib cage, wrap around that abdomen. Get that full stretch through that back hip flexor. Okay, and then we'll stay straight, pull that toe up. And then just hinge over, get that stretch to the hamstring. I can kind of feel it lengthen all the way behind my glute, up through my back, even into the base of my skull, depending on how much I can get that toe flexed and really get that reach. One more. All right, stand behind that chair. We'll take just a few little marches on it. Core strong, feel that core help lift you up. Slide those shoulder blades back and down. So that's another big thing while we're stepping up or sitting down is really watching that upper middle back. All right, last one. Just take your nice low yogi squat. Sit deep between those legs. If you need a hinge side to side, that's fine. Um, like I said, we're going to be on our timer. So we're going to have 30 seconds of a step up, meaning we'll put our left leg up on the bench and just drive through that left leg repeatedly for 30 seconds. And then we have a 15 second transition period and then we'll do the other side. So we'll do a step up and then come down. I'll be holding my weights. Other side, we'll do our pistol sit. So core strong, one leg is out. You're gonna sit down. I'm gonna hold just one weight at my chest. Now the goal is gonna try to be to keep that leg up as you stand. But if you need, once you sit down, lining that knee with the toe, if you need to drop it to stand up both legs, that's totally fine. We'll do dips here like this. Then we're going to do an elevated push up. So your hands will be on your chair or bench and we'll push up from the bench. If the push up still doesn't work, use your weights for an upright row here. So getting into those shoulders. And then lastly, we're going to do a Copenhagen. So Copenhagen is really good to build stability and strength in your inner thigh, those adductor muscles. So what you'll do is you're gonna come down all the way onto the floor. Elbow will be on the ground. You're gonna put your top leg on your chair bench. You're gonna lift and then hopefully get your uh, bottom leg to lift underneath. So you'll feel a lot of pressure and work in that inner thigh on the bottom. And then we'll do the other side. If that doesn't work for you, you can also try an elevated rise on your bench and hold that upper leg here trying to build inner thigh strength at that point. If that doesn't work for you, 
Just go here, up and down, flexing that foot and getting inner thigh. All right, I think we got through everything. Let's get started. Grab weights if you want to use them. And we're going to put, um, let's say, left leg up on that bench and drive through. Ready, set, and go. So tall chest, drive through the heel. If you want, you can tuck a knee in. Really up to you. Drive through that glute, though. So a lot of times I notice that the heel drops off the bench. I want to make sure it's all the way on the bench so we get that glute to do the work. Belly strong, chest is tall. And time. All right, first couple rounds, I think we don't really need the break, but I'm going to be happy for it soon. Set up, keep those hips square. Three, two, and go. Drive through. Watching that knee, you want it to stay as close to straight over that toe as possible on the pushing side. Belly strong, open the chest, roll your shoulders back and down. Drive to the heel and time. Okay, so I'm gonna put one weight down, hold the other one at my chest. Again, slide those shoulders back and down. Make sure you're gonna hit your bench. One leg will come up and then we're gonna take that seat and then stand. Seat and then stand. Good, knee lines with toe, perfect. This is where these single leg things you can really notice if you have kind of weaknesses inside that thigh or the outer glute because that knee is going to want to maybe fall in and you're keeping track of it. All right, switching sides. Side shoulders back and down. Find the four corners of that foot. Lift your other one. We're going to balance out. Hinge those hips really far back and then drive. And you can go at your pace, depending on the weight you hold. You might go a little faster, might go a little slower, wherever you feel comfortable. Find your challenge. Use that core. Oh. And time. All right, gearing up for dips. Get those triceps going. Get your set. Pull your low belly super tight. Open the chest. And you want your hips to drop right underneath your shoulders. If you'd like, you can lift one leg for a couple. And then maybe the other. But keep those hips right under shoulders. Get into the triceps and don't forget about the core. The chest lifts really high. And time. Okay, gear up for your elevated push up. We can start by just holding a plank. So make sure those hips are tucked under. They're not going to stay up and behind. Three, two, and one. Core sets in. Good. Hopefully it'll feel just a little easier because you have that incline. Feel that tailbone tuck under. Protect your low back. You have a plank that's moving. You go with your range. Three, two, and one. All right, final two is the Copenhagen. So you find your rendition of it. First time I did this was actually, I was shocked. I really couldn't do it very well. So it opened up my eyes to the weakness on that inner thigh. Open the chest. You're basically just holding that side plank, but you're putting a lot of work 
into that inner thigh, really on the top side. If you need, you can also drop your bottom knee down, but just try not to put the full weight on that knee, but it'll help support. Hold on to it, open the chest, and time. Okay, now we'll set up for the other side, and then we'll be back at the top. Make sure that that elbow's right underneath your shoulder. Ready, set, and go. This is a good time to notice which side is a little bit stronger, which side maybe we need to work on a little. Try to keep those shoulders stacked, but remember if you need to keep the bottom knee down or the foot to help, that's fine. Do your best. And time. All right, one round. Grab those weights for your step up. Shoulders back and down. And I'm ready, very happy we have our breaks. Three, two, and step. Remember, we want to drive through that heel. Take your brain to the glute. On that pushing leg. Open that chest, elbows drive straight back behind. And time. I do a ton of these when I gear up for a for a summit hike. I hike a hike a mountain, bag a peak, gear up using these. Ready, set, and go. See if you can keep that belly button pulling back toward your spinal column. That's it, keep it up. And time. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of one weight. You're up for my pistol sit. Get that toe straight ahead. Other foot is lifted and then you sit her down. Find that knee with the toe. Should be tough. Try to be in control of your sit. Where's that core? Keep it going. Time. Shake it out. Get set for that other side. Use that core to help hold the leg. Ready, set, and go. That first one is kind of a trust drop. <laughs> I'm hoping, oh my gosh, that bench better be in the right spot. One of these days, maybe we'll figure out a full pistol squat. I am not there yet. And time. All right, we get to use our arms for a bit. Gear up for that tricep dip. Make sure the chest stays nice and tall. So as your hips drop, shoulders stay pulled back. Hips stay right under shoulders. That's the way. Make sure the hips stay close to your bench, especially as you fatigue. Time. Whew. Okay. Push-ups are next, those incline push-ups. 
Get your plank position set and go. 30 seconds. We've got it. Feel that core set in. Work for your best range. Pushes your edge, but no injuries. Five seconds to go. Time. All right, down for your Copenhagen or your alternate. You could also do knee on the ground and one leg held here. That would work as well. But remember the goal, all right, we're up, is to get into that inner thigh, that adductor. I definitely feel it. Even on that lower leg, you don't just have the support of the floor. Flex your foot, open that chest, stack your shoulders, and then enjoy the work. Time. All right, gear up for that other side. Get your elbow set right under shoulder. Ready, set, and go. Flex deep inside. Grab still through the front of the core. Open the shoulders, press up out of that elbow on the ground. Hold on to it, keep your height. Time. Woo. That right side. Okay, two sets to go. Crushing it. Grab those weights. Gear up for your step up. Foot on that bench. Here we go. Drive. Line that knee with the toe. Focus on your butt pushing you up. Open your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Time. Other foot. Ready, set. Three, two, one, go. Keep that body squared off. Your hips, your knees, your feet, shoulders. Incorporate that core, make it help, plus it supports your low back. Try to check in with those weights, make sure they're not swinging. There's our timer. All right, we have our pistol sit. Whew. Get that core going, flex into the back, take your sit. Oh, stand. These are definitely getting tougher. You can really feel which muscles are having to really work. Get us up. Time. Second side. Chest is tall, shoulders back and down. Lift your leg, gear up. If you're lifting on your sit, where's that belly button? Drive it back. Next stays out of it. Use your core and glute. Quad on that lifting leg. And 
and time. Woo. Dips. Dips are next. All right. Three seconds to go. Elbows squeeze in. Dip. Stay in that range that your shoulders are happy with. Envision you have a rubber band squeezing your elbows toward one another. I like it. Good work. Where's that core? Keep it going. Elbows squeeze in. Time. Good job. Take a little stretch, rotate those shoulders down. We have our push ups next. Three, two, and go. Keep that plank position. Feeling that chest push you up. Dig into the work. Don't stop yet. Five seconds to go. One more time. Okay, I'm going to start my Copenhagen on my second side. These last two rounds. Whew. Get your top leg up there or find your alternate. Go. We're on. Push into it. If you need to take a break, take it and then come back. Scan the body. Take the time to set in. Use your brain to connect with what you need the body to do. Mental connection will take you so much further. Time. All right. Other side. <clears throat> Keep that set. All right. My second side has been way tougher up to now, so I'm going to see if it's just that second side or if it's my body being weaker on that side. I think it's just the second side. Woo. Come on, come on. Flex in. All that bottom leg is dropping. Woo, come on. <laughs> Time. <sighs> Saved by the bell. Okay, last round, my friends, last round. Grab those weights. Open that chest. Gear up for that step up, go. Set into it. Keep good form. Make this your best set yet. Drive through that heel. Make that glute build. Support, do the work. Time. Enjoy your break. All right, five seconds, second side, open that chest. Remember to keep your full foot on the bench. Here we go. Keep it up, open that chest. Watch those weights. Make sure they're not swinging to get you forward. Full stand at the top, straighten that leg, time. All right, I have that pistol sit. Get into it, lift that one leg, here we go. Yes, we got this, we got this. Hopefully building those inner thighs 
with that Copenhagen is also facilitating better work here. Time. All right, second side. Get that core going, find your balance, dig into that heel, reach those hips back, press up. We got it. Keep that knee as much as you can right ahead. Try not to let it fall inside toward the midline. Oh. Time. All right. Next up, dips. Doing fantastic. Open that chest and go. Here we go. If I don't pay attention, my elbows kind of start widening. So watch that. Keep pulling them toward one another. You'll feel those triceps engage even more. Hips stay close to that bench. Chest stays tall. Time. Man. Okay. Push ups. Get that core set and go. Feeling that chest engage, core engage. If you were to see yourself in the mirror, there's no hinge in your hips. So you tuck them in, core sets in, your legs flex, and you're in that solid plank position. Time. Okay, back to that Copenhagen. Final minute of work. And then we'll get to stretch. Get your stack and go. Scan that body. Get into what you're using. One second at a time. Deep breaths. Opening that chest. Time. Okay. Second side. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Even though last time I barely had it, get my mind engaged here. Open that chest. I know I want it. Lengthen that spine, deepen your breath. Focus those obliques. And time. Top leg had it, that bottom leg. Well done, well done. Good work. Box stuff always gets me, but I love it. Okay, go ahead and take a seat on your bench, unless you don't have one. Sit on the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And we're going to do that figure four stretch from the top. So push that knee down. Lean over those legs. If you sit in the chair much during the day or at all, office chair, this is really good to stop and hit this here and there. Okay, switch it up. Other side, press that left knee down with your left hand. Hinge over. Okay. 
And then put both feet out in front of you, flex those feet, kind of sit it on the edge of that bench, and then hinge forward over those legs. Long back, feel those hamstrings stretch. And then lastly, for our hip flexor, put your back foot, if you can, on your bench. If not, just stand and use a wall. That's fine and get a quad stretch. Or you can even do the hip flexor stretch from the ground and then slowly let that knee drop. And maybe it'll even come all the way to the ground. Drop that hip under. That's it. So you can feel that hip flexor and quad. All right, come back from there, and we'll switch to the other side. Step your right foot back. Get a pretty good length. Slowly drop that back knee. Feel that hand or the quad and hip flexor. And then step it up, stand together. Reach over those legs, get your forward fold, straight legs. Awesome. We made it, great work. Day 17, you're crushing it. Winter, going well, and I'll see you tomorrow.